Rory Scott from Horses with his 10 Minutes Club again. This video is going to be on the banana serve, okay? And it's called that because of the direction the bat travels in, in the preparation for the serve. So you almost take it the banana shape for the serve. And just so you know, I didn't come up with this name. I read it in an ETTA coaching manual almost 20 years ago. Okay, so what you do, I normally do it from the middle of the table, but it doesn't have to be done from there. And I start the middle of the table using my service grip, like this, just gripping with my finger and my thumb. And I start at the middle, I go upwards and to my right, and then I come back round again, that's the banana shape bit. And then I can choose to do whatever serve I like almost from there. So the reason I'm doing this is partly to get momentum on the bat, to get more spin, and it's partly uh, to help with the skies of what serve I'm going to do because they don't necessarily know what serve I'm going to do after. So I'll give you a few different examples of uh, the banana serve. So this time I'm going to do the reverse serve, long and fast to a right-handed backhand side. Okay. Heavy side spin, quick into the backhand, that went off to my right hand side. Now I can do the very same serve, but instead of having top spin and side spin, I put back spin and side spin, which then makes the opponent hit the ball into the net quite often. And I can still do the same spin, as in it's still a reverse serve, but I can go long and fast to the forehand with top spin or back spin. That's top spin, still goes off there and a bit upwards. And then I can do it with backspin. Okay, and, that, and the difference between doing topspin and backspin is really the contact point and the direction of the bat. So if I want to do it with topspin, on the contact I'm going up. So up, like that. And if I want to do it with backspin, on the contact I'm going down, on the ball. For a bit of added disguise, you could do an after movement, after the stroke. So you've done a reverse serve, but then you can pull it back to the other direction to make it look like a pendulum serve. So I've actually pulled it back to my left, whereas a reverse serve would normally finish at the right. Um, now I've, I've demonstrated four long serves, you can do the same four serves but short. So top spin, side spin, reverse or backspin, side spin, reverse, short, they're both short to the backhand, and then I can do the same two serves short to the forehand, top spin, side spin, reverse, and backspin, side spin, reverse. So there's eight different variations of this banana serve. There's another eight, another eight, which are using the pendulum serve as opposed to the reverse serve. So, so far I've been going up from my left to my right, so it's a reverse serve. Now I'm going to go from my right to my left, so it'll be a pendulum serve. I'm still starting off with the banana action, okay, to get momentum and the extra spin. But this time, I'm going to go from my right to my left, which makes Daniel hit the ball off to my left hand side. Okay, that was to a top spin, side spin. I can do the same one along with back spin, side spin, still to his back hand side. Okay, and I can do uh, the same serve along to his forehand with top spin. Okay, and then, and side spin obviously. And I can also do it with back spin by coming under the ball, heavy back spin, side spin. So I can do those four serves short as well with the pendulum action. So I'll go top spin, side spin first. And I can go back spin, side spin. And I can go top spin, pendulum, side spin short to his forehand. And I can also do the back spin, side spin to his forehand. You will find that you can get a lot more spin on the long and fast ones than on the short ones. But you don't need as much spin on a short serve to stop them from attacking generally because they haven't got so much space to play a full stroke. 
Okay, so now I'm just going to do some random banana serves, including pendulum serves, reverse serves, with both top spin and side spin, or back spin and side spin, long and short, left and right. So all the different combinations, random. And we're just playing the point after. Sometimes I add an extra movement just to confuse the, the opponent. Get the basket. And as well as going to the forehand and the backhand, you can also mix it up and go into their crossover point really fast. Also very tricky. So to return. And you can mix it up by serving from different parts of the table. Ace. Okay, so as you can see, this serve is very adaptable and there's many different variations of this serve. It's definitely worth giving a good practice to and see if you can incorporate it into your games.